Hi, Chris Geiser, VP of Marketing from Zycar here, uh, sitting with Rob Limke, our engineer, and we were talking about some education things and humidification and, and things that we could talk to consumers about. And we've had a lot of questions around humidification, especially hygrometers. So I wanted to sit down with Rob today and talk to you a little bit about our hygrometers. Uh, people have asked, why did we switch away from hygrometers that have the calibration button? Um, are the new hygrometers better than the old? And so we just wanted to uh, sit down and answer your questions. Here we go. So Rob, talk to us a little bit about hygrometers. So hygrometers in the past, the best hygrometers you could buy were ones that you could calibrate on your own. You could take them home, you could do a salt test and make sure they were perfectly accurate, right? Everybody, nobody worried too much about how accurate they were from the factory because the best thing you could do is take them home and calibrate them yourself. Yeah. And what we found was sometimes that calibration process was a little confusing. Sometimes there were little things that could go wrong and you'd have really big errors. So you get kind of a, a false reading or a false positive on what you were getting. Right. So every time you would calibrate the thing, you would push a button and it would tell you 75%. Congratulations, you're calibrated, whether it was really 75% or not. So Rob, it sounds like maybe using a calibration button could give you a false positive, but you know, if you're doing a salt test, I thought salt tests were kind of the basis for everything. Are you saying salt testing doesn't work? No, not at all. Salt testing is perfectly fine. It's, a, it's based on laws of physics. It's been chemically proven in all sorts of, of tests and documentations. And the issue is if you're gonna do it, you have to do it exactly right. And there's a lot of variables that if you get just one little variable off, all of a sudden your results are just out the window. Hmm. And then because you calibrated it, you just overrode what was a better setting to begin with. Gotcha. So it sounds like maybe removing the calibration just makes it a little bit easier for consumers. Oh, absolutely. So through the magic of editing, we're going to show you four different salt tests real quickly uh, and show you how you can get four different readings. So here you can see, depending on how you set up your salt test, the, the container that the salt test is done in, uh, how the solution's put together. All of these were done with the same hygrometer and the same salt, but you get four different readings. So how do you know which one's right? Which one do you trust? Trust is a big thing. Trust is a very big thing. I mean, I know when I go to the butcher shop and they put meat up on the scale, I trust that if they say it's a pound, it's a pound. When I go get gas, I trust that the, the meter in there pumping that gas is a gallon is really a gallon. How do we get that kind of trust with hygrometers? Yeah, right. And just like that gas pump or that scale at the butcher shop, there is a chain of command, a chain of authority that makes sure that every scale, every gas pump is accurate. Same thing in the, the world of humidification and temperature. There are national authorities all the way down through companies that everybody is certified and verified that their equipment, their test equipment, is accurate and so what they say is reading 75 percent 70 percent is is really accurate it's true and you can trust that well that's great rob that there's an authority out there that that monitors this but how do we know what zycar is doing is it that quality uh and, and does what we say it's going to do sure zycar has linked into that chain of authority through all the different areas in our manufacturing and our quality assurance programs so our, at our factory, we have humidification environmental chambers that are certified accurate. And so when they're testing product right off of the line, you know that that's an accurate measurement there. When we do in-house testing here, we have devices that are calibrated, traceable all the way back to these authorities that say, this is an accurate device. And then we also send off our product for third-party testing that Every, like, once again, everything is certified and calibrated so that we know the authority is there and we can trust that the measurements are, are accurate. All right, Rob, so it's great to know that everything is certified and the certification process for building the hygrometers and how Zycar preps them and tests them before we send them out. But if I'm out there at home and I think I may have a problem with my hygrometer and I still want to test it, can I still do a salt test at home? If you do it carefully and do it the right way, yes, you can still do a salt test. They can be very accurate. The biggest factor you need to control is the container that you're using for the salt test. Plastic bags of differing quality 
are going to give you variable results if you use those. So find a resealable plastic container, one that seals better, you know, the better the seal, the better your results are going to be. And make it as small as you can get it so you have room for your hygrometer as well as your salt and water solution. Okay, Rob, I've got my container. It's small enough to hold my hygrometer and solution. It's sealable. What else do I need to look at? So the other factors you really need to look at are temperature stability and making sure all of the ingredients here are all at the same temperature. So you want the hygrometer, you want the salt, you want the water to all been sitting in the same area for a while. Because if you're even one degree off from the sensor in that hygrometer to the solution, that could be as big of a difference as 6%. In, wow. your, in your percentage reading. Okay. So you need wow. to control that. And then the other things to watch are your, your salt and your water solution. You want to have a nice mixture. You want to add as much salt to that water as you can. So pour the salt into the water, mix, mix, until you can't get yep. any more salt to dissolve. So then make sure that water is covering the top of the salt crystals. Okay, so when you kind of see that salt start piling up in the bottom, it's just the solution's not going to take any more salt. Right. Great. Okay. And then I put, I put that salt solution with my hygrometer in here and close the container? Yep. Great. And how long do I need to leave it? You know, you should see results pretty quickly in a nice small container uh, within three or four hours. If you really want to make sure you waited long enough, wait overnight. Great. Okay. So Rob, that's a ton of great information, but even after all of that, we'll still have folks that'll call with questions. They may say, you know what? I've got a premium humidor, I've got Zycar humidifier in it, I've got uh, Zycar hygrometer, but it's still just reading 64%. What do you tell those folks or what do you recommend to them? Well, in a situation like this, there's just so many variables where any one thing could be causing the problem. You know, what season is it? Is it winter? Is it summer? Is the air really dry in your room? Mm -hmm. Is the humidor new? Is it seasoned? It doesn't have leaks in it. Are your cigars dry? Are they too wet? Uh, how, how well is your humidifier working? Is it old? Is it new? Does it need recharge? So we have to start whittling down the variables and test each one of them to find out where your problem is. So you'd recommend going back to a small container, test the humidifier and hygrometer first because you'll figure out if those are working. Use the salt test to test your hygrometer then you can use your hygrometer to test your humidifier and make sure it's working and then kind of go from there. Right, get it, at, yeah, get it out of the humidor, get it away from the cigars, get into a nice tight sealed enclosure, test the humidifier and the hygrometer first and then you know check variables after that. Excellent. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I thank Rob for his time. Uh, but if you still have questions, feel free to email us at Zycar, info at Zycar.com. Thanks, and talk to you soon.